Welcome to this fourth installment of the video series on how to moderate a lively and informative panel discussion. I'm Kristen Arnold and I'm a high stakes meeting facilitator as well as a professional panel moderator. And today's topic is about selecting primarily and inviting and confirming interesting panelists. This is step two in our five step process. So a lot of times I get asked, so how many people should be on the panel? Now here's my personal opinion. I think three or four is ideal. More than four, you've got more, four plus you, you've got at least five people, six, seven, you have a whole bunch of people competing for airtime. Three or four makes for a very nice uh, discussion, conversation, dialogue, and that's what you're looking for. So three or four interesting panelists, and I recommend that you aim high, that you really think about who would the audience love to hear from about this topic. Now, don't give yourself the excuse of, oh, well, we don't have any budget, we can't afford it, we, they'd never say yes. You'll never know unless you ask. So you wanna ask people who have a high degree of expertise. They're well known in their field. You see them out there, they're doing that work, they're blogging, they are thought leaders, ask them. Maybe you might wanna ask some practitioners who may or may not be the same people as the experts. The practitioners are the people who are actually in the field, they're doing it successfully or maybe not so successfully. And sometimes we learn from our failures more than we do our successes. So you're looking for experts as well as practitioners. You can also Ask some stakeholders in that value chain. So you have end users, there's an idea, or maybe you have some distributors or manufacturers, people along that value chain. Now, here's the caveat with suppliers, vendors and suppliers. You need to be very clear, this is not an opportunity to hawk your stuff. This is an opportunity for you to serve the audience. And if you serve the audience graciously, and, and provide lots of value, then they will come running to you after the panel is done. So make sure that if you are going to invite stakeholders that you give that kind of caveat, don't hawk your stuff. You also wanna have panelists who have the ability to speak clearly, dynamically, energetically. Now, they don't have to be speakers per se, but they, should be able to put two words together. They should be opinionated without being a jerk. You know, you do need to have different opinions and that they should be able to, to um, be dynamic and keep the audience interested. Now, here's the challenge. Sometimes the expert is duller than dog dirt. I mean, just dull. In in a selection between somebody who's got a high degree, degree of expertise versus eloquence, ideally you want both. But if you have to pick between one or the other, I would pick the expert. If you've got somebody who's just really dynamic but doesn't say anything, mm, I wouldn't invite them. If you do have this expert who is not exactly eloquent, you can still make this panel sizzle. It's just gonna take a lot more work from you and a lot more um, in engaging that person and in the planning and the preparation. And we're gonna get into that in the following series. So um, just, if you can, make sure that they're dynamic and interesting and that they'll tailor their comments for you. Because sometimes some speakers, they just bring their stuff. You know, and it's the same stuff for every speech, every panel they go to. So make sure that they're gonna tailor it to meet the needs of the audience. The last criteria that I would look for is visual diversity. You've got five people sitting up there. You wanna make sure that there's as much visual diversity as you can get um, between age, uh, gender, ethnicity, visual diversity. Aim high. Get interesting panelists, three to four people. Invite them. Once they say yes, confirm with an email. And then lastly, Murphy's Law. You know Murphy, what can go wrong will go wrong. You might have some people who cancel at the last minute or just plain old don't show up. You might wanna keep one panelist in your back pocket just in case. 
So that's that video short course. We're uh, on the other side. We're going to be going to number three, which is about planning, selecting the panel format. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for listening.